Now to the historic achievement in space. For the first time in over 50 years, a U.S. spacecraft has successfully landed on the moon after a week-long flight. Yeah, how about that? The touchdown ushering in the new chapter of the great space race. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. For the first time in decades, an American spacecraft is on the moon. We are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. Odysseus landing on the moon's surface Thursday. The company behind it, Intuitive Machines, posting on social media site X, writing, Odysseus is alive and well. Flight controllers are communicating and commanding the vehicle to download science data. The lander has good telemetry and solar charging. But the journey to this point wasn't always 100% smooth sailing. And we'll stand by and monitor as Nova Controls to continues to work this issue. Just before it was due to land, Mission Control found that the navigation system used to guide the lander to the surface wasn't working. Also not dead yet. Luckily, the team was able to rewrite the lander software, taking control of an experimental navigation system, and in the 11th hour, landing as planned. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Odysseus, or ODI, is the first U.S. built spacecraft to land on the moon since 1972, and its home base is located on the moon's south pole. It's the first of many missions NASA has set to explore the area, which is suspected to have ice that could be converted to drinking water or be made into rocket fuel. The moon has one-sixth the gravity of Earth and no atmosphere. So it's a much easier place to launch deeper into the solar system. It really is the launching pad into human exploration out into deep space. Okay, so the hope here is that ODI will help NASA better map out the South Pole before that critical Artemis mission to the moon in 2026. Of course, that's when astronauts will go to the lunar surface. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.